Welcome back, everybody, to Madden 21 Franchise Edition with the Carolina Panthers. I'm Floopy Donkey. Thanks for stopping by and checking out the video. Today, we are going up against the Detroit Lions, who are 4-5. and five. And, guys, we are 4-6, and six, and we need a win bad. We cannot afford to lose any more games the rest of the way. And I think these next three games are very winnable. The Lions, the Vikings, and the Broncos. But it is Madden. It is the NFL. Anything's possible. If you enjoyed the video, please hit me with a like or subscribe if you feel inclined. But without further ado, let's get this party started. Lions are only a 79 overall. We have to like our chances. The new rookie, Jeff Akuda. Uh, I think that's how you say his last name. Corner. For the Lions, I was hoping the Panthers would be able to get him, but I am uh, I'm happy with Derek Brown, I guess. He has that superstar factor, and he has made some good stops in the defensive line uh, for us this season. And let's see if we can get a win at home here in Bank of America Stadium. We're getting the ball first. I wonder what our percentage is this season as far as getting the ball first. And how that goes to our winning. Good little return to the 29. And Teddy Bridgewater. Christian McCaffrey. Who we just found out is out for four to six weeks. A lot of injuries this season already. And you hate to see anybody get hurt. And look at that linebacker. The uh, <laughs> He's got something going on with his hair there. We'll just try to stay away from him. We have a flag that's probably a block in the back by Greg Little on a really good run by Christian McCaffrey to start the game. And that was Robbie Anderson right when we picked up one yard. So we're going to run it again, see if we can pick up another first down. Robbie, your guy was all the way outside, man. He had no influence on that play. You can't, you can't do that. And now Christian McCaffrey loses a yard, and it's second and ten. Let's go with a draw play. Things like that, that hurts us. That hurts us. We had a first down. We had a good little uh, play to start off the game. And here we are already now. Third and 12. Penalties will kill you. Let's go with smashed corners. We haven't really ran this play this season. Let's see if anybody wants to hold on to a pass at this point in the season. I don't see anybody. We're just going to get rid of it. I thought maybe we had... Christian McCaffrey going to break free there. And uh, he never was able to uh, get open in time for us to, to make the throw. All right, good punt. See if we can't make this tackle. And now they get the ball at the 29. So we flip field position. I'm pretty happy with that. Matt Stafford and the Lions. It's actually a good uh, rendering of his face. Looks just like Matt Stafford. All right. Shaq Thompson is out for a few weeks, so I uh, we've got Taylor in here. I thought I'd put uh, Andre Smith. Who was Andre Smith? We might switch that. He's younger. Get some development out of him. And you see Shaq Thompson there out for two weeks. Matt Paradis for three weeks. And we need to get them back. Let's uh let's switch this right quick. I don't know why he is. Uh, I don't know if it didn't save or what the case may be, but I wanted to switch our middle linebacker. It is Andre Smith, but isn't it? It's saying Taylor is actually. Uh... Oh, I know exactly why it is. I'm trying to figure that out. I think it's because we didn't switch the uh, sub linebacker there. Hmm. Maybe if we switch, there's Carter. Is that who we wanted? We wanted Andre Smith. He's got. Let's go with that. 63. I want to get a young guy in there to do a little, a little development. Instead of keeping Taylor in there. Come on, get a stop, TJ Hawkinson. And he picks up close to a first down. Third and one. We're going to blitz again. There's Jermaine Carter. Now he's in there. Let's uh, bring guys up. 
Let's see if he decided to run with Swift, who I have on my fantasy team. And there's Kenny Galladay. Really good wide receiver for the Lions. All right, they get the ball on the 49-yard line. They're at midfield. We'll stick with Tahir Whitehead here. And good tackle. That little misdirection almost got us there, but we held we held our ground and was able to uh, prevent them from picking up any additional yards. We got a second and six coming up. Got to get a stop here. We don't want them to pick up a first down and kick a field goal. We want to get this ball back and get a lead. Get the interception. Jeremy Chin with a chance there. The rookie's not able to haul it in, and that is why he is a defensive back and not a wide receiver. I have a feeling that if that was the CPU, meaning we were throwing that ball, that probably would have been picked off. I don't know. That's just me, though. All right. Good. Good stop there. Fourth and three on the 43, and they're going to punt it. That's exactly what we needed. Defense holds out to prevent the Lions from moving the ball any further down the field, and we're going to get this ball right back and get a chance to go ahead and put all the pressure on them. Let's go with the screen, see if we can't move this ball a little bit down the field. I think we need to maybe go into running a little bit more. And we don't pick up anything. I accidentally started moving Christian McCaffrey. Picks up four yards, not bad. Let's try to run it again. The Lions with a 3-4 defense. I didn't know they had that. It'll be a little bit harder to run up the middle unless we spread these guys out with the linebackers being able to run free like that. Let's go with the uh, curl combo. Maybe we can find Delaney Walker on this. There he is. Good pitch and catch. That's like clockwork. And we pick up a few yards there. 13 yards for Delaney Walker. First catch, first down. See if we can't get Christian McCaffrey rolling here. He's after that first uh, that first run play. He's been kind of stuffed. There we go. 1,400 yards rushing, already 10 touchdowns. He was one yard shy of 100 last week. And, uh, man, this guy has been everything for the Panthers. If we make it into the playoffs, it will 100% be because of him and his running ability and nothing else. We're going to go with a run. The defense knows that we're running it every time, pretty much. And uh, us being able to still move it down the field in any capacity is a is a good thing. And just when I say that, we lose it three yards. Let's go with the mesh. We need to pick up a yard. Maybe we find uh, Robbie Anderson there. Uh, let's – oh, come on. Oh, and uh, Curtis Samuel last week doesn't get his feet in bounds. And this week he does the same thing. Let's look at instant replay, see if we might need to challenge this. I mean, he throws it behind the receiver. And let's zoom in here. We didn't get a replay. And I can't really tell. There's one foot in. And uh, it looks like his heel's out. That was close. All right, we didn't get it. We got DJ Moore here who doesn't have a good release. Good good corners here by the uh, – good catch by Robbie Anderson. Great, great catch. Good DBs for the Lions. Um, I know they got uh, Jeffrey Okuda there, but I don't know – who, is El who else is on the outside for them? Good run up the middle, but another holding penalty. That's probably why we had the good run. Chris Manhurts, the tight end, and it's coming back. That hurts. That hurts. That would have had us. That would have had us in field goal range. Let's see if we can't run. I'm going to switch this to a run. And, of course, blitz right through our line, and we lose three more yards. 
our line is really hurting us here today. Already out early with uh, a few penalties, a few missed blocks. I really don't like this play call, but we're going to have to go with it. Let's see if Delaney Walker passes behind him. We just cannot catch a break with anything. Run blocking, penalties. We can't get good throws by a quarterback. But you got to overcome them. you got to overcome the obstacles. There's Curtis Samuel who drops a pass. Who dives way outstretched like that. I, I thought maybe he could just haul that in with a normal a normal catch. I don't know why he dove for it. All right. There's a good tackle by Jeremy Chin and holds them to a 12-yard line. All right, we've got a defensive game. You don't see a lot of these in the NFL anymore. Most of the time you got 30, 25, 30, 35, 40 points sometimes being put up. So it's good to see a little defensive struggle, especially for us this season because – we haven't been able to stop anybody for the most part. Except for the Chiefs. <laughs> Oddly enough, probably the best uh, offensive team in the league, and we're able to stop them. All right. Good stop right before he was able to pick up a first down. And I think we're going to go with a Tampa 2 contain. Let's see what we can do here. Hopefully we can get a stop. There we go to here, Whitehead with a really good read and is able to come in there and get Swift from picking up a first down. He actually loses three or four yards, and we'll get this ball right back. It'll probably be the second quarter before we get it. Now they're going to go ahead and kick it. I would have waited to them and got the wind to their back, but we're not going to complain. All right, ball on the 43, end of the first quarter. Panthers, zero, Lions, Zero. We need to get something going here. We're going to go with a halfback stretch. These linebackers are roaming on us. We're going to see if we can't get out and around them. And the safety comes straight up on us again. What? Jamie Collins. All right, we're going to go with slants. We're not able to pick up anything. And, guys, if you're watching this, I don't manipulate the plays as much you know the three plays that are chosen by us given to us by the quote-unquote offensive coordinator we'll choose one of those three if I were to uh, draw up the best plays of Madden every year it would be uh, be a little too easy all right there is Curtis Samuel with a good catch first down Panthers and I like it now we're moving the ball we're at the 41 we still need to pick up a few more yards before we're even in field goal range um and we're not even able to get – man, we are having a tough time even getting to the line at this point. I think we're going to have to go to a little bit more of a passing situation until things open up. I don't know if it's the line. I don't know if it's the CPU knowing our play calls. Curtis Samuel with a good four-yard pickup there. Now we're on the 37. Now we do have the wind in our face, a six-mile-an-hour wind, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, we'll go with Levels Corner here. So we're gonna need to we're gonna need to pick up some yards here. All right, first down. Curtis Samuel again with a good snag. We got a little extra uh, XP and rating on that because that was a play that we practiced this week. Let's go right back to this wheel switch. See if we can't find Samuel again. He seems to be the ticket for us on this drive. There he is again. I hate how they cut to go up instead of just slowly rounding out. They would pick up a first down every time on that. All right. Second and six. Let's see if we can't find Christian McCaffrey. I think we found the weakness here. These little quick cuts on this linebacking core. They're, they're crashing hard on us on the run. I think we're starting to figure it out. Let's stay with the – let's not change it up when we get near the striking zone here. Maybe Anderson. Maybe Christian McCaffrey. There's Anderson. Good. Touchdown. Robbie Anderson. Thrown by Teddy Bridgewater. And he does a little handstand. Check that out. His fifth touchdown of the season. And the Panthers go up. 7 to nothing. I needed to make sure I was going to get a good kick before I said 7. And the way this game is going, that might be the difference of the game. <laughs> That's 7 points. 
Neither, neither team able to do a whole lot up until that point. And I think we've got them figured out as far as offense goes against their defense. Now we need to figure out or keep doing what we're doing against Matt Stafford, which is some zone to prevent them from uh, moving the ball down the field here. Oh, man. It's a good read. TJ Hawkinson. Matt Stafford, nine yards. Let's stay with Whitehead. I have a feeling they're probably going to try to run this one. And no, they, they passed it. And Kenny Galladay, I mean, that's a mismatch between Dante Jackson. He's just so much smaller. You know, Dante's a more of a quick guy. I think he's he fit even better in the, in the nickel position, but we just don't have a lot of – uh, experience on the corner side of things. Eli Apple, though, saying, hey, man, pay me. <laughs> I wonder how much longer um, – can't think of the Lions coach right now. He'll be around. I have a feeling that if they're not able to do something this season, he might uh, – He might Matt Patricia, he might see the, see the ax. And my Lord, Swift there. Able to just keep on pushing, and DeAndre Smith almost picks up the first down. Looked like we stopped him at five yards, but he keeps moving it. And uh, we're in trouble here. Marvin Jones, haven't heard from him all day. He catches a ball, and just when we needed to stop the Lions, here they are moving it right down the field on us. All right, we know they're going to be passing it. We're going to watch TJ Hawkinson here, make sure he doesn't do anything funny. And a good uh, little move there. Breaks that first tackle, picks up a five yards. Danny Amendola with a good little pickup. Got a run. Good play by Derrick Brown. We talked about him at the beginning of the game. One of the better rookies in the draft. And uh, I love it. I love it. We're going to do a little bit of some zone we're going to press a little bit i'm going to watch tj hawkinson here read what he's doing don't let him beat us and kenny galladay comes back for it but unfortunately he doesn't get forward progress on that he actually loses two yards and we're going to block we're going to block <laughs> we're going to stop them from getting a touchdown with a field goal unless we can block it and we didn't even get a good jump off the line so seven three panthers we almost at the two-minute warning. If we can go down here and score a, another touchdown, we can go up by 11, which would increase our uh, lead to, a, to 11 points uh, or four points over what it was, just was, which was seven and nothing. All right, let's uh, – we're going to go with this will with switch again. It keeps wanting to give us, to, uh, give us that play. Looks like we got a blitz coming off the right edge there. Looks like a safety. And uh, that's there all day at this point. Curtis Samuel with a good catch. We only pick up two. We got a injured lion. It's a little sketchy, I say. We're gonna we're gonna go with a pass though. We got another blitz coming here. Maybe we can get Ian Thomas or Delaney Walker on one of these routes since we are gonna have everybody coming up on us. There's ah, uh, we had we had Ian Thomas there. I don't. Maybe I should I should have lobbed it instead of throwing a bullet. All right, third and eight. We haven't even hit the two-minute warning yet. Delaney Walker goes up and grabs for it. He catches it. Not a good not a good decision by me on that. And we have to punt it. Don't even waste ten seconds off the clock. And the Lions get it to the 31-yard line with a minute 50 left. Big stop here. We need a big stop. We're going to go with a little man, see what happens. Got everybody covered. And Marvin Jones with a catch. Tried to break it up, but we weren't able to do anything with it. 
And another broken tackle, but we're able to catch and stop them before being able to uh, pick up the first down. All right, timeout. Thank God we needed that. We were getting some terrible plays there, a lot of blitzes, um, a lot of zone. All right, third and inches. Big stop here. Let's move Carter out here to uh, pick up that tight end. Marvin Hall with a good out pattern. Matt Stafford finds him. First down, Lions. And he picks up the first down. Marvin Jones with another first down. But another timeout used. 52 seconds is still plenty of time for the Lions who are on the 29-yard line. we got to get them stopped inbounds, let them run some more time off that clock because this is uh, starting to become an issue. And they run it out of, out of bounds. All right, second and six. Still 47 seconds left. I'm watching Marvin Jones here. And, of course, there's an under route. And we stop them. At, all right, so now they're going to run out of time here. They're going to have to use a timeout. I'm going to switch to Jermaine Carter. We're going to, yeah, I figured that would be. There we go. 18 seconds left, 10, and they're going to call a timeout and kick a field goal. All right, that was big. So we're still, unless they decide to throw one deep here. Yeah. All right. This is going to suck. Yes. Good. Good, good, good. Interception by Jeremy Chin, the rookie safety. And yeah, we're just going to nil this. We're going to nil it. Lick our wounds, and uh, we got to play defense coming out of the second half. So, not even, not even worried about trying to pick up some yards there on the four-yard line with four seconds left. All right, let's kick this thing off. Really good stop. We needed that. That was huge. The first turnover of the, over on the game, and it wasn't by us. That's always a plus. That's always a plus. Joey Sly looking rough at. Nose is coming right through that face mask. All right. Cover two press. All right, we got to run. I haven't seen a lot of these today. Good, solid tackle by Andre Smith. Second and seven. We need some linebackers in our draft as well. We are really, really weak at linebacker. I like our defensive line. Not too pumped about our. There we go. That should have been a uh, intentional grounding, but that doesn't get called on the computer. All right. Third and seven. Be a big stop here if we can get it. Come on, good tackle. There we go. Great tackle by Eli Apple, who, in my opinion, is defensive MVP for the Panthers right now. I mean, he is making, in my opinion, a lot of a lot of good plays. Comment below who you think so far is the uh, the best defensive player as far as performance goes for the Panthers this year. I think it's Eli Apple. He's made the best impact plays. All right. We're going to go with the uh, – should we try a run again? I think we I think we try we try passing it. Just, the run's not been there for us today. I, I would love for us to move the ball down the field in the air and pick up some first downs. We can always get it to McCaffrey in the air. To Bridgewater, 12 for 17. That's pretty good. We picked up a first down. Now we can run it. Three guys on the line. They're all to the left. There we go. There we go. That's what we'd like to see. McCaffrey with only 18 yards rushing on the day. He's had a very, very tough time getting anything going. Looks like we got a blitz coming off of DJ Moore on that left side. Be good to audible. 
All right, McCaffrey with a good run there. He picks up four yards. <laughs> We're averaging two yards a carry currently. Let's go with the Y stick. McCaffrey, DJ Moore, who do we go with here? Let's go to McCaffrey. Come on, McCaffrey, you got to hit a little juke move there. Get that guy off of you. All right, he picks up a yard. We'll go with the uh, flood switch. Sam, uh, has Anderson got any speed on this? He does have a speed. We'll have to watch this. We'll have to see if Anderson beats this guy. If he does, well, I'm going to throw it deep. Yeah, he does. All right, there it is. Catch. Beautiful. Robbie Anderson with a great catch. Good move right off the line because it's all about that release. Good throw by Teddy Bridgewater. And that is a huge touchdown. Second of the day by Robbie Anderson. And the Panthers are going to go up 14-3. to three. That's a really good answer. We got a uh, rough in the kicker there. And uh, we're going to accept it. Screw you, computer. <laughs> Shouldn't run into us. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. It's uh, first and 10 on the 25. We've got the third quarter. We had a nice little answer. Another big stop here. And maybe we can start running it. And oh, nice play. Derek Brown gets in there, breaks up the pass. And we'd like to see that out of the rookie, too. Rookies, Jeremy Chin. Derek Brown both having a really good day so far for us. Right when we need it. And Jeremy Chin. Oh, it's Eli Apple. Again with another good pass breakup. I'm telling you guys, Eli Apple is doing it all for the Panthers in the offense or on the defense right now. And I love to see it. Love to see it. See if we can't get a uh, Brian Burns sack here. I feel good about that. And a great tackle right before DeAndre Swift's able to pick up the first down. And it forces a Lions punt. So we're getting this ball right back. All right. Let's see if we can't pick up some yards here. Oh. Slip right by a few defenders, get the ball to the 26-yard line. That was maybe a 10-yard pickup. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. All right, let's see if we can't start running this thing, chewing some time off the clock. This is what the Panthers are all about. Good juke move, but I think we have a block in the back. No, holding. Greg Little, who I moved to center. To uh, he's just he's just better overall, and uh, but that didn't that didn't work out too well for us there. I think I did that before this game. I didn't do it last game. All right, DJ Moore's there. Maybe we can find. Ah, uh, we don't have anybody. Let's get rid of it. Ah, that wasn't that was almost bad. Second and twenty. Jeremy Chin with a uh, bruised knee. I didn't know he got hurt there. Let's substitute. We don't need him hurt any longer. Let's go with the draw. Oh, man, this is pretty tough front here. And ah, he is not able to squeeze through. He only picks up a yard. And we have third and 19 for the Panthers. We're having a tough time moving the ball sometimes. It's, it's either hit or miss, but there's Delaney Walker, and he drops it. If he catches that ball and takes two steps and gets hit, it's a drop every time. It just it just blows my mind. All right. That would that would have been very big as far as the um, you know field position goes. It's a good tackle. And it says he picks up one yard on the return. I don't I don't know about that, but could have played the field position game if we were able to pick up a few yards there, but. We got the ball on the 35. Looks like we got a run here. And, uh, oh, a good run. Trey Boston with a great tackle on the edge there. One-on-one -on -one with DeAndre Swift. 
and stops him from picking up the first down as well. I like to see that. <laughs> Both teams still haven't eclipsed 30 yards rushing yet. Swift getting close. He has 28. And the Lions pick up a first down now at the 45, approaching midfield, looking for their first touchdown of the game, trying to get back into it. They're trying to keep their playoff playoff hopes alive as well in the NFC. So this is a really good game for us to win and uh, kind of push them out of the playoff picture so we don't have competition for the wild card later on down. I don't know if we can get the, <laughs> the division. We're probably just shooting for the wild card right now. All right, got another run. And Swift with another first down. No, he doesn't get it. Third and six. Do we go with a blitz? Yeah, of course they're not running it here. If they do run it, it would surprise me. Yeah. Good pass breakup. Dante Jackson puts his scapula on the ball and breaks it up, and they're going to punt it. Surprised that they don't try to go for this here. I'm going to bring Jeremy Chin up just to make sure you don't do any fake. No fake. And he punts it to the 21. Should have tried to pin us. We actually gained a yard in that, so... McCaffrey started with nine carries for three yards. Now the last three carries he's picked up 20 yards. So maybe he's starting to find a, find it a little bit. I sure, don't, sure doesn't feel like it, but we're going to run it. We're going to see. And he picks up two yards. <laughs> Just not a lot for him on the ground today. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's the, the line or their defensive line or the linebackers. I have a feeling it's the linebackers, but we just can't find the open holes today with McCaffrey, who has uh, picked up a few yards there. But we're going to go with this flood switch and, again, try to find either – try to find Samuel. I don't know if he'll – he won't be open, but there's DJ Moore, the X-Factor player on those out routes who's able to pick up a step. Teddy Bridgewater delivers a good pass, and DJ Moore with his first catch of the day for 16 yards on Jeffrey Akuda. And Panthers first down. There we go. Good. That was a good block there. That's what we like to see. Good block, able to let McCaffrey pick up four yards. We haven't seen that all day. I'm happy with four-yard pickups at this current point in time. Run that three times. We picked up 12 yards and a first down. There we go. Starting to find a little find a little holes in the defense. 44 yards rushing by McCaffrey. Averaging still under two yards a carry here, but hey, better than at one point we're averaging just about a yard. I think we let time run off here. I think we let time run out and pick this thing back up in the fourth quarter. All right, so fourth quarter, Panthers up by 11, looking to go up by two touchdowns, hopefully, maybe three points if we're able to. Oh, man, great. Great stop there. I thought McCaffrey was going to be able to pick up a few yards there, maybe even a little bit more. We're, we're looking right now at just potentially maybe getting a field goal to go up by exactly 14. That's how I'm playing this. We're going to run this to the outside. I don't know. You think we can beat that outside? Linebacker. Oh, yeah, he broke in. But unfortunately, two other guys went outside and we're not able to do anything with that. Let's go with the smash corners. McCaffrey's been able to beat these linebackers all day. Let's see if he can. Can't do it here and pick up a good first down. There he is. McCaffrey with a great catch. I think that's his third catch on the day. So he's ah, his fifth for 50 yards. So he's approaching 100 yards from scrimmage on the day. He said, I'm going to get those 100 yards one way or another, either through the air or on the ground. We're going to get it. Let's see if we can't find DJ Moore. There he is. Good catch. Even better play. And uh, broken up by Coleman there. And now it's second and ten. Oh, man, they've stacked the box on us. Let's switch our protection to the left. If everybody holds their blocks. And we're able to pick up four yards. Everybody did a good job holding those blocks at the point of attack. 
Let's go with the drag under. We got McCaffrey coming back under. We're going to look for him again. Maybe we'll have Samuel open here. He's breaking through the middle of the defense. And I don't see him there. McCaffrey will pick up that first down. And then some. His sixth catch of the day. Maybe 60 yards. It is. That was a 10-yard pickup. And now we've got Mike Davis in who's going to power this thing through this line. Maybe he's what we've been needing. And that's exactly who we needed. The big guy <laughs> breaks right through. Snakes a touchdown for McCaffrey. And the Panthers are getting ready to go up by 18 points. Makes this a three-score game. And that is very huge with only seven and a half minutes, less than seven and a half minutes left in the game. We got another rough in the kicker. And the Panthers are feeling good here at home. A rare home win for the Carolina Panthers. Granted, everything doesn't go to uh, go to hell. <laughs> we don't need to pull the Falcons here. If anybody watched the football games from this past weekend, the Cowboys had a ridiculous comeback on the Falcons who just blew a lead. Let's hope that just doesn't happen here. Got a little pass, drops it down to Swift, and he picks up a first down. He stretches that arm out. All right, so he's he's wanting to try to make a little comeback here. We see him, see him grinding out there, churning those legs. Got a little screen. Let's come up with this. Oh, man, we ran right by it, and look at that. Just like that, a big play. We haven't given up a big play all day. And DeAndre Swift runs right by two Panthers when he catches that screen. And we're celebrating on the sidelines. I don't like that. Need to get our heads back at the game. Going back with another pass. And good block shed by Jermaine Carter. And he is able to pick up a few yards. But, man, it was looking like there for a second he was going to take that one all the way home. Jermaine Carter with a really good block shed and a better tackle prevents DeAndre Swift from picking up any additional yards. They're going right back with another. There's a fumble picked up. And was that Brown or KK again with the sack? And they end up losing nine yards on the play. Let's check this out. Loose ball we've got. That was Derrick Brown with a really good tackle there on. No, it was KK Short. KK Short with a sack. I think that's – he's approaching six, seven sacks already on the season. Good play for our defensive tackles. Coming through and another screen. Let's just hold it right here. It's not doing anything crazy. They still got to either go for it. Or they might kick it. They are down by 18. And no, they're not. They're going to go for it. Four minutes left. And this would cement the game if we can get a stop here. And Kenny Galladay jumps right over Dante Jackson. Grown man going up against grown man. And just Kenny, Kenny Galladay is a grown man. He is big. And, uh. The Lions get a big touchdown on that fourth down play. And uh, well now we've got to run some time off the clock. Still a two-score game. They've got to go with a uh, two-point conversion and a field goal. And I brought that out just to run some time off the clock. we got the ball to the 25, so it doesn't matter anyways. And they lose a few seconds. And that could be the difference of them picking up a uh, field goal or not. So let's go. We're going to go to two clock tempo. We're going to run this thing. If we got to run it three times, we will. And McCaffrey breaks a tackle. Great power. Breaking a defensive tackle there. And uh, we pick up seven on the play. Yeah, we're just going to run time off the clock. If we don't even pick up this first down. At least they won't get the ball. They'll get the ball with about two and a half minutes. And... Uh, That'll be a that'll be a struggle for them. McCaffrey, I think he got the first down. No, they're not giving it to him. All right. Game on the line. Or 
Time to end the game. We got to give it to our best player, Christian McCaffrey here. Can't get fancy. Just got to let him run it in. There it is. And he's gone. And that might cement it there. He might start calling some timeouts. You see there, graphic came up. McCaffrey with 1,500 yards rushing. And we're only in the 10th game of the season. So we still have a few more games to go. And he only needs 600 yards. And I'm talking. And we get a first, we get a uh, delay of game. Run in my mouth, not paying attention. And uh, we get a penalty. Matt Rule's probably not happy about that. Let's switch this, run this to the left. We've got numbers on this side. If we can pick up our blocks, which we can't. And that's going to bring up the two-minute warning. Two minutes left, down or up 11 points. And we're not going to do anything crazy here. We're going to force them to use their timeouts. We'll move Alex Arma over here to the right for lead blocking purposes. And check that out. McCaffrey with some good moves. Picks up a lot of yard, yardage there and maybe enough to where we can even pick up the first down here. Let's go with a halfback gut. Hey, ran this play all season. Let's follow our running back out there. McCaffrey with another good run. Now he's picking up some chunk plays at the end of the game to salt this one away. 114 rushing yards for us on the day when it looked like we just couldn't do anything. The Panthers pull it together at the end. This team fights. I like to see it in the last time out there. And that should be it. That should be the end of the game. Just got to run some time off the clock now. All right, so we just had a play under review from the booth, and we actually pick up the first down, and the Panthers are going to nil it here and end it and go to, I believe we're going to be 5-6 and six on the season. It's a very big win here at home against another team that was looking to get in the playoff hunt. Really, really, really big win for us here, and uh, hopefully that pushes us in the right direction. Because we started off 3-0. and I thought this was going to be a really good season for such an inexperienced, uh, growing team. Then we had a few hurdles, but we're back on kind of a winning streak. We've won a game, lost a game, won a game. So won two of our last three. And maybe the Panthers are back on the rise and can be a formidable po an opponent in the NFC, maybe. Teddy Bridgewater doing good. Christian McCaffrey still runs for 113 yards on the day. Can't deny that man from being a beast. Mr. 99, we've got Teddy Bridgewater with some uh, – let's, let's, let's work on his accuracy here. We're going to go with Phil General, bump him up to a 77, which is – it's not the best. Jermaine Carter does get a bump. We're going to go with uh, Run Stopper here, help him with shedding some, some, some uh, blocks. Good tackling, play recognition, all the good things that he needs. And, guys, if you are enjoying the content, please hit me with a like or subscribe. I uh, plan on keep going through the rest of this franchise with the Panthers to see what happens. And maybe after a few seasons, I will switch up and use another team. But for the time being, we're going to roll with them. If you want to be put in the draft, remind me. Let me know down in the comments below. Tell me your name. What position you'd like, if you want me to change anything up, if you want to be a quarterback, you want to throw left arm, right arm, if you want to change your skin tone, your height, your weight, you just let me know and I will change it to match you uh, to the best of my abilities. But we will catch you next week against the Minnesota Falcons, who are 4-6 and six as well. So they're trying to keep their playoff hopes alive. We are 5-6, five and six. Falcons 5-5. Five and five. The Saints and the Bucks are atop the NFC South. But maybe we'll have something to say about that. All right, we'll catch you on the next one. Talk to you later.